We go, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Are you guys? Can you hear me? Hi, Wendy. How are you tonight? Hey, teacher. Well, not not so good because I am today very strong. You are today. I am headache. Oh, I I got a headache. I got a headache. Yes. Got a headache. Have you drink any pill? Mm, yes, teacher, but in my case, it's difficult because I uh, I have a migraine. Migraine? Migraine? Migraine, yes. And right now I have a crisis, the migraine. Yes. Crisis, a migraine crisis. Yes. Okay. That's difficult. All is good. Sorry to hear that, but well. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Okay. okay, how many are we? We are just eight right now. Where are the others? Okay, so let's start the class. Tell me, tell me something, whatever you wanna say right now. Let's have a conversation, a normal conversation, like like regular people throw in Teacher, a topic. Hey. Now we must finish the meter, meter. Yes, okay. yesterday, today, today is the last day for you to finish the midterm. In fact, the whole class name is midterm evaluation, midterm review. We're supposed to review the midterm. And we're gonna do it just going topic by topic, having fun, don't worry. Let me just check the website. Have you found any problem with the platform? Any issues with the platform? Teacher, which good evening. Which which homework has a problem uh, when it says 18, 18 points? Do you remember? Which part? Yeah, but we fixed that. Yesterday I told you that they had fixed it. Okay. Let me check the grade book. Checking the grades book right now to see how you're doing. Okay. Irwin, Irwin, don't forget your mute term. Hi, teacher, I'm not here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Irene Susana, having done the mute term too. Turn Alfonso Madrid. I can complete any of the exercises. Sandra did it. She did it. Okay. Everybody has done the midterm. That's awesome. It's really good. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Let me do the attendance. Although we are just 11, but we have to do the attendance first. I know that uh, Ada is having surgery right now, so it's okay. Um, Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Yep. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Yeah. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. With cell phone data again? And uh, no, but I, I still have problems, but uh, today is better than, than yesterday. Okay, so good. I have to be here all the class and without problems. All class, awesome. 
Great job. Okay. Hey, Dio, Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Okay. Irene Can you Sistema. hear me, teacher? Yep. Okay. Thanks, God. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God. You got it. Okay. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Present. Do the midterm, please. Make sure you make uh, you perform the midterm exam. Okay. okay. Thank you. You want to be able to do Chavez? Yes. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Okay. Yes. Roberto Luis Omaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present, yeah. teacher. Thank you. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present, teacher. There you are. Thank you. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Hey, there you are. Thank you. Okay, welcome back, guys. So today we have to cover how many units uh, have we started? We have almost two units done. By the way, tonight is Friday, December the 3rd. Just a minute. December the 3rd. I'm staying tonight with William. No. Johnny. Hmm. Who was with me yesterday? I can't remember. I stood with William, right? Yeah. Johnny's not here. Well, Luis Ernesto is with me already. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero, can you stay 10 minutes, please? Okay. Thank you. After the class. Okay. Currently, I'm just having a conversation with you during that those 10 minutes. You know, it's very good. Okay. So let's go on your book. I'm just going to make the questions and we're going to have a lot of conversations today regarding the topics, <clears throat> regarding the topics we have started. Grammar, most of all, if you remember, we started with expressions of certainty. What expressions of certainty do you remember? Uncertainty or certainty? Certainty. Certainty. I doubt it. Surely. Surely. Surely, for sure. Likely. Likely. How do you use likely? <coughs> Remember, if you say most likely, it's like uncertain, right? Most likely. Mm. That is likely to happen. That is likely to happen. Okay. What others do you remember? Obviously. Obviously. Okay. Doubtless. Doubtless. No doubt. That's right. Certainly. You said it. Obviously. Certainly. Surely. Doubtless. Okay. In a likely, in all likelihood. Really not that used, that common. Okay, expressions that you can use that are very common in natural English. Take the whiteboard. Okay. Expressions that you can use that are very natural in English. I'm pretty sure about that. I'm pretty sure about it or about that, about this, okay. I'm pretty sure about it. Um, definitely, definitely it's already in the book. Um, okay. 
I will bet on it. I will bet on it. Okay. Hmm. That's one hundred percent, one hundred percent sure, certain, certain. That's one hundred percent certain. Absolutely. Absolutely. It can be wrong when I say, okay, I can be wrong when I say this. I can be wrong talking about the weather. I can be wrong on this. Okay. Can you think of any other expressions that you may heard and you may have heard? What else have you heard when you want to be certain about something, when you want to say that you're certain about something? Teacher, when do you use uh, I, I'd rather? Oh, that's uncertain. Uncertain. Yeah. It's like instead. Instead of, mm -hmm. correct. But it all depends on the context, don't you think? Oh, I'd rather, uh -huh. yeah, because you're certain that you will rather do that instead of something else. I'll rather eat a salad. I'd rather eat a salad. I'm fat. That's for sure. I'm fat. Okay. Obviously. Okay. So these are expressions of certainty. Let's practice with your classmates. How do we do it? Let's make questions, suppositions, because this works just to um, be certain about something, and you can only be certain about a supposition, okay? So let's talk about the weather. Did you notice, is it windy where you are right now? Yes, it's windy, teacher. Do you think it's gonna rain? No. No. No? It's very fresh and windy. So you're sure it's not gonna rain? No, and in this time, it doesn't rain. Not for now. Oh, during this during this season. During this season. This season, there's no rain. It's just the wind. It's just windy, cold. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure Salvador is not going to the next World Cup. What do you think? No. No, for sure. Not possible. Not possible. Many points lost. They're missing many points. True. Okay. I think they're paying the Christmas bonus next week. <laughs> I spent my Christmas bonus before. Already? <laughs> you did already? <laughs> okay. Yes. Really? Oh, oh okay, easy comes, easy go. Easy comes, easy go, right? Yes, in this time, everything is very expensive. Yeah, money goes by flying. Okay, good. Let's practice with your classmates. Make a, suppos a supposition about something that you are certain. Let's use the certainty words, certainty expressions, okay? Remember, you're here to speak. Let's do it. Hello. 
Hi. How are you? Are you working? No, yeah, but I'm in the office right now. Okay. I'm busy. It's that I, I don't, I can't. Teacher. Sorry? Teacher. Hello. There was still a mistake in the platform. Homework really? number 2.2. 2.2, 0, 2.0. Okay, 2.0. Uh -huh, but I cannot, I cannot see it anymore. What do you mean, they fixed it or? No, they didn't fix it and I couldn't correct it because uh, when I want to do it, I can't see it anymore. I can't see the homework anymore. But I remember that all of the answers were right because all of them were green but the grade was 18 from 20. Oh, 18 out of 20, I see. Uh -huh. But I can't see the homework, not anymore. It's 2.2, right? It's 2.0. There's no 2.0. Oh. Hmm. Let me show you what, I'm, what I have. <laughs> This 2.2, I don't see a 2.0. Oh. 2.1. Oh, they removed it. I see your point. They just oh, removed. Mm -hmm. They just removed it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. But there are still five homeworks. And look at that. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten videos. Oh, that's because you need to, yeah. You need to uh, corresponds to two weeks of classes. That's basically it. I got your point. So yeah, they removed it, but in the end, you still have five evaluations. So three, four, five. Well, we're good there. In the end, the average is what matters. So you will be doing good. Good, good, good. Okay, hmm. certainty situations. I'm certainty, I'm absolutely, surely resting tomorrow. Definitely resting tomorrow. <laughs> I've had a really tough week. Okay, good for you. I'm certain that tomorrow is gonna be a heavy day for me. <laughs> Gotta work from 5 a.m. to 12 30 and then 1 to 6. That's too much. From, from what time? 5 a.m. to 12 30 and then 5. 1 p and then 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. 5 a.m. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, and I have to drive to work because I'm not working from home anymore to drive to the office and then work until 12 30. How many hours are those? How many hours? That's 13. 13. Ah, that's 12.5 hours. 12.5 hours in a row. In a row. That's how you say this, continuous. This, uh, they use for 14 hours. Yeah, but at least you're thinking, you're using your, your hands, you're doing something, you know, mechanically talking, but at the call center, I have to be there at five, and then I go like. <laughs> so like come on, like you're doing nothing? We're just waiting for a nothing, call? Something? Just waiting for a really? call. Um, at, least, at least the first two hours is dead. You know, there's nobody calling. And then we start one after the other, one after the other. And right now, we're having too many Latinos calling for the issue with the cards. 
and the New York Police Department is fed up, you know, they're tired with so many claims of stolen money. Mm. Fraud, fraud, you know. The thing is that Latinos don't get it. I mean, they, they go like uh, asking things like, how do I fill out this form? It's in English. I don't understand English. How do I fill out the form? Oh my God, really? And in Spanish, of course, I am taking mm. Spanish also. Yes. You have to be very patient. Today, something funny happened. Um, I answered the call, right? And hi, thank you for calling. My name is Rafael. How may I help you? And then the lady was like, do you speak Spanish? I'm like, si señora, si habla español. I was like, why did I say si habla español? <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a gringo. I know, I forgot my Spanish. Oh my God. That happened. Yeah, that's funny. Okay, keep it up, keep it up. Another topic. I'm in surgery and Roberto Luis is driving. <laughs> Um, La Selecta is searching, losing their game tomorrow. They're playing tomorrow? I guess they're playing. I don't know when, but yeah. they're supposed to bring our t shirts tomorrow. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So you're working tomorrow? No, I'm not working. My, my team is going to bring the, the t shirt. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. It's lucky. <laughs> In my case, yes. You have I to. work tomorrow. Yes. Oh. Hey, are I you throwing? Work. Are you throwing a party on Christmas? No. No, sure? there. Yes, of course. <laughs> okay. There is. Um. There is. Sorry. You, you were going to say something, I'm sorry. There isn't. <laughs> oh, there isn't going, there isn't going to be a party in my house. No. Okay. No party, okay. Give me just two more minutes and we're done, okay? Okay. i rather. We create uh -huh. the, the models. Mm. And, and, and we create to the, all the process to extract the information, transformation, oh, it's and the mm -hmm. everything. Oh, and we that's... present the information uh, using Tableau. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, is, that is very interesting. I I, I like all, so, all related to the database, but the BI, I, I, I don't know much about BI, but that is interesting. Yes, it is interesting because you you know when when I, when you were in that kind of job, the, you know everything about the company because, uh, for example, I remember the last job that I had. I ha I knew all the information about the company when the mm. the, the company put the orders and mm. posted the order. The plan, the uh, the plan, process of planning. Um, but you 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 don't you don't work only on reports. You you are a kind of data administrator in your company. Yes, I have a I I, I have the responsibility to to administer a, a server, a database server. Ah, okay, mm -hmm. but fine. It's a SQL server, Oracle. So, uh, SQL, server. Ah, SQL, SQL server, server. Mm -hmm. SQL server. It is the most common to to use in that country. SQL yes, server. Yes, in the company that I work, that is the the, the, the server for the database that uh, they choose. In the in my previous job, uh, the company only work worked or uh, using uh, Oracle. Oracle for, for, for all the information. And A, A is uh, 400, A is 400. Do you, do you know? No, just I listen it. Mm -hmm. That is commonly using. That is, that is all. 
Yes, yes, but that is all. But it's frequently used in the people that is working in that in that database is really really good salary. That is a good salary. Yes, that, that yes, is. because now all now is about about <laughs> that technology. <laughs> many it, banks use it. Yes, so you you see a a, a person that uh, now is about that technology is a old man. <laughs> <laughs> so. Ah, yes, it's, it's, okay. Present. <laughs> hey, teacher, I have a doubt. Mm -hmm. I was talking with my classmates, but if you want to say that you are after something, this is the, the or it's more British to say, I am after um, something. For example, after, yeah, different, something, right? Como decir, estoy atrás algo. For example, I'm after repairing my car. Yeah. Yeah. You're yes, pursuing. Correct. Yeah, it is used. Okay. It's not that common in American, but yeah, they use it too. Okay. I'm after, I'm after that. I'm looking for it. Ah. Okay. I'm looking for it. I'm after that. Very good. Okay. Uh, so talking about certainty, um, there's some uncertainty of things that you typically say. Let me tell you a brief story okay, that happened to someone, to a friend of a friend of another friend. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> have, you seen, have you seen this shorts in TikTok? This is a real story. It happened to a friend of a friend of a friend. Okay. What? Okay. So, um, I heard about this guy who won the lottery and he never realized until he found his ticket, his winning ticket on one of his pockets. Um, many months went by before he realized that he had won the lottery. So there's a expiration deadline, you know, there's a deadline for you to cash in the money that you win, right? Your earnings. So that that deadline was very close when he realized that he had the ticket on his pocket. He went to the lottery center. He claimed that he had won the lottery. The lottery guy, you know, the security guy wouldn't let him in, wouldn't let him in. So he said, oh my God, if you would have come before, we would have allowed you to, to go in, you know, but this is a very old ticket. I don't think they're gonna cash in. So the guy didn't care. He didn't know how much money he had went. Won. So he went back home, rested for a night. He came back home and he came back to the lottery center a few weeks later, still thinking, oh my God, I should just go and check, you know, I got a lot of work to do. And they let him in this time. And the lady says, you know what? Um, if you would have come here to say to cash in your your price your your earnings it would have been much easier you know to get the money he was fed up he was really tired but in the end he understood that it was their job they checked the ticket and the lady at the counter said you know what 
you had a million dollars here. The guy said, what do you mean I had a million dollars? Okay. Let's see what happens, right? Let me escalate this matter. We're gonna see if we can pay you the money, okay? But for sure, we will have you an answer later today. The guy went back home. He couldn't sleep that night. He called the next day. The manager said, you know what? Yes, we're gonna give you the money. Um, um, but we're not so sure yet. And the guy said, why? Why? What, what's wrong? I mean, I won a prize, I need my money. Why don't you give me the money? The guy said, you waited for too long to cash in the ticket. So it means that you don't need the money. Mm. The guy thought, and I thought that I was not getting the money, but for sure I'm getting it, right? Am I getting it? Benegir said, yes, we were going to give you the money, but let's just think for another night, okay? It's been another night, couldn't sleep. He went back to the office really pissed off. He was really upset about the whole situation. When he got there, the manager said, do we know you? He said, I came here two days ago. I've been dealing with you people for two weeks. Nobody's cashing in my price. What price? The guy said, oh, I brought my ticket here. Did we give you any receipt about, you know, the ticket that you won the lottery? He said, no, I just brought the ticket for you. I mean, that's what we're supposed to do. We haven't received nothing from you. Time went by, he sued the lottery and he won the case, but the ticket was never found. So there was no price to give him to be given. They were going to give him the price. But in the end, you know, things happened. Somebody else found the ticket, cashed it in easily, and they gave him the money. This person was a panhandler. A panhandler found the ticket and he cashed in the million dollars. So what's the question? Did they give the money to the guy or not? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Because the person who has the ticket, the lottery is the owner. Uh, he's the owner of the prize. Okay. Yeah. So who got the money? <laughs> Did I get the I would have, I would have asked yeah. for the videos. I would, have, see who took, I would have asked for the videos to see uh -huh. who took the ticket. Totally. But who got the, the ticket? Who won the prize? Okay. It's that a, a lottery ticket that uh, a winning lottery ticket is like a bill, right? True, but who got the prize? Okay, I got you lost. Did the owner of the of the uh, ticket claim the prize or someone else? Who claimed the prize? Mm, it, that is uh, similar to, for example, I, I don't know if you uh, have heard about the the promotion from Gasolinera Suno to the to the car. So I I watch some public publication or, or post post on facebook some posts on facebook uh -huh. so the, the, when uh, some people is uh, selling the the letter that all the people doesn't get yeah, yeah. or have yeah, the, so the, they, the they yes it's, it's right and that people that that person puts the the price or only or something only said what what do you offer for this, this letter and something is like uh, I offer six thousand of dollars for this for this letter yes and, and it, maybe maybe he gets six thousand of dollar but for me if you if you can you you have the the, the, mo the most difficult letter to get maybe it's better to 
go get and fill the other words. Yes. Get fuel. Get I don't know, like a hundred dollars on fuel and yes, and you... get the other letters. That's a good thought. What do you What do you think, guys? What will you do? Nobody has answered my question. I mean, did, who got the prize? The lottery. An employee of the lottery. Oh, it was a panhandler. I told you that term. Panhandler. Before. Yeah. What, what is, is a panhandler? Pan Can somebody define a panhandler? Oh. Yeah. People requesting money, right? Hmm. Uh, yeah. People asking like for a money. Homeless. A homeless guy, that's right. It's a home. Sometimes they're not even homeless people, you know, they like to ask for money. In Europe, some cities in Europe, you can ask for money on the street and you make a lot of money. I, I was watching the news. So, yeah, Fernando's right. I will have just buy more gasoline, you know, keep fuel, keep pumping, keep pumping gasoline, and that's it until I get the other letters. That makes sense. Okay. So let's move on with the class. For our next act. No, you were going to tell us who got the prize. The <laughs> yeah, I, I just told you, yeah, the fan handler got the ticket. But they didn't want the in the end, they stolen the money from from the the real the real owner, the manager of lottery, you know. He stolen the ticket, he pretended he had lost it and gave it to a pen handler. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Suspicious. No. Sounds suspicious, right? Yeah, I can deal, I can deal with a pen handler. Hey, I'm gonna give you this ticket, you cash it in, and you give me one the half, okay? Give me five hundred thousand dollars and you stay with five hundred thousand dollars. Deal? Okay. Deal. <laughs> hey, there are there are taxes on prices, right? If you win the lottery, you have to pay taxes. Is that true? Yes, because it's income. It's income, right? How much? Yeah. I wonder how much will it be. In the US, it's 30% or, or depending, depending on the amount of income. 30% of as, income. As much as you win, as much as you pay. The more you win, the more you win, the more you pay. You got it. Good job. Okay, good. For our next act, we had a video. And that it's going to start on minute, let me see, minute one. Okay, you can move, skip forward, just skip forward to minute one. Just jump in the first minute if you want. I'll share the link. This is on your book. We're going to talk about warehouses, logistics on this video. And again, I need you to look for some vocabulary. You're going to have 20 minutes to do this activity with your classmates. Now, once you're done watching the video, just share with your classmates, new vocabulary, your thoughts about the video, okay? You're gonna have 20 minutes for the whole activity. I'm sending you the video link right now. And if needed, I will move some of you to another group. But let's go, let's watch the video and participate. Guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna stand for a minute, okay? I'll be right back. Thank you. 
This is Walter Winkler. He founded Wittron in 1971 and is still the owner of the successful family in It has always been his philosophy to support the goals, provide responsibility, opportunities, and perspectives. Wittron develops logistics and picking systems for customers from trade and industry across the globe. Thus, it is possible to efficiently store, pick, and outsource products of all kinds and to provide them in time whenever they are needed. And I would like to show you how such a logistics center is developed. Rooted in the upper planet, Wittron implements projects across the globe with employees from 35 different nations. The world is changing rapidly. There's more and more network and product varieties constantly growing. The challenges for logistics experts continue to rise. Most people understand logistics to be trailers transporting goods. Point A to B, but there is more to it than meets the eye. Goods are provided from logistics that work with innovative technologies, which, of course, has many benefits. High cost efficiency for the operator, ergonomic workstations, efficient transport of goods, work relief in the stores, all of which benefits us as consumers. Wittron is a leader in building such pioneering logistics centers. It all begins with design. Wittron engineers evaluate data to generate extensive analysis and close cooperation with the customer. Bit by bit, based on all requirements, Wittron generates a layout, a material flow concept, as well as a computer model for the entire system, where all processes are put to an acid test in the course of the simulation. And this continues until everything fits. The design of the logistics center is always an exciting proven standard modules are the basis for every design phase. But every system is different, as they are all tailored to our customers' needs, which means that the combination of the individual components, material flows, and the timing are always unique. So, we are able to rapidly develop a solution for our customer that provides competitive advantages. In, item In a logistics center, numerous processes run at the same time and largely automatically. After the first design phase, it is all about the definition. Of these processes to allow a smooth operation afterwards. And this happens here at which
system will now be created. Now we thought we'll bring the system to life. Some 18 months have passed from design to start. Their construction, racks, and conveyor systems make that sensor. Eight kilometers of cables that have merged to form a large automated system ramp up to start. Together with the customer, we thought we'll bring the system to maximum effort by showing the customer all processes and functions of the system. The system ramp up is the important final phase of the project realization, as the system is now constantly brought to high performance. We work very closely together with the customer so that he or she understands all system functions and that they can operate the system on their own in the future. Some two years after design start, the completed system will be handed over to the customer. But which one does not either customers on their own? Not even when the system is all but Wichon service experts are available at any time on the clock. They take care of the service, preventive maintenance, and overcoming maintenance support parts. They also perform continuous system analysis and optimizations either online or directly on site. Even their entire system operations sometimes take them. Call task within service is to be available for customers at any time for issues. It starts with simple maintenance tasks. The entire operation of the system that can be taken over by Witron and continues to complete system modernization over the entire life cycle of a system. Thousands of articles of all kinds can be delivered at time to this device destination with Witron's logistics system. This is how we receive our food waste. And the spare parts for the car anywhere and anytime. As a family business, Vitron places high expectations on itself so that its employees can develop themselves on a professional and human level. This is what Vitron considers when realizing its systems. These systems are also operated through personnel, and therefore the car goes with the system in such a way that employees no longer have to lift heavy weights in the warehouse, and can move and work effectively, independent of age and independent of age. Point of the environment also benefits from the process. Innovative technologies with minimal emissions and consumption of reserve environment reduce CO2 pollution, reduce top down transportation based on up to 20% more efficient packing order pallets, and allow the intelligent packaging of the package. This will become very important for the future as processes will accelerate. E commerce, mail order business, and request for same day delivery is an exception today. This assumes extremely flexible and dynamic processes. For this purpose, too, we can provide a cost efficient solution for its customers. Vitron supports the design of worldwide trade and logistics facilities, transportation in the store and for U.S. customers. Okay, that was a long video, right? You could yes. see it. Skip forward if you want it. And we're still missing one. We, the next one is holding more information, actually. So it's really boring. OK, the next one is not that boring, and you're going to make a presentation about it. So we're going to have fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, let's go back. Thank you. 
Okay, I think we're ready. How many are we? Okay, we're back. We are 15 now. Let me do the attendance one more time before we move on to the next stage. That was a long video, right? Yeah. Yeah. I know. So, okay. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza is in surgery. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Carolina Ivette Romero Bellino. Present teacher. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Ingenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Josué, José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Presente, yo. Yeah. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Presente, yo. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaño Arellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Yeah. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There she is. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Today, Suleima Ivonne Moreno Hernandez. Present. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Thank you. Okay, guys. And once again, so did you get any new vocabulary? Any new words? That was a difficult video. A lot of technical words, numbers. Ramp up. Yeah. What is ramp up? System. What? A system? Um, showing. Showing. Mm -hmm. Bump, shop, some. Ramp up is when you start a business. You're ramping up. It's a synonym for startup. To start up a business. Ramping up. Okay. There's a term in Spanish for that. Never. I can't remember what's the, the name of that. But yeah, it's when you're starting your business. Popping up. Uh, something is popping up. Oh, you know what happens when you go to Facebook and you get all of these add-ons or you're on a website and suddenly poof, poof, and you get a lot of yeah, ads. That's is this in the Windows Emergence? Windows, or maybe? Yeah, the emergent Windows of Windows. The emergent Windows. Windows of Windows. Yeah, the emergent Windows. That's popping up. Something's popping up of my nose. Uh, uh, for example, I don't know. Something's popping you. up. You. Yeah. <laughs> for example, Jocelyn says, stacker. What's a stacker? Now, at this point, guys, you have to look for the root of the words. So what is the root of stacker? Stack. Stack, which is a verb. Yeah. Which means? Put the objects in a pile. To put objects in a pile, that right? Is a, that is a, a means because the stack is, I, I, we, we can use a stack for a, a lot of context, different context. Yeah. The person who are who do the action. It could be the person doing the action, performing the action of stacking stuff, you know, stacking boxes or stuff. Like that. That's right. Tailored. 
tailored. When you, you, when you, uh, no, uh, when you make a sandwich, you stack all the ingredients. Oh, good. I'm hungry. That's right. <laughs> True. I'm starving. <laughs> I'm not starving, starving, but I'm a little bit hungry, but I'm not eating, not, not food. No more food for this party. Okay, Stacker. Tailored. What is it? I love tailored suits, I told you before. Tailored it. suits. It's when you do something on the right size. Right measures. The right measurements. Did you notice the machine? How long was the machine? How long was the machine? My feet. 1,476, I think. Feet? Make it Fit, fit, fit. <laughs> no, they said like eight kilometers or something. I mean, it was a long machine. But 19 or 20, something like 19 that. 19 or 20, but it was tailored to the size of the building. That's impressive. So you can hire these people. And if you have, let's say, a square, you have a building, you send them the, uh, the structure, you know, on a, on a plan, okay? And they, they design the machine based on your needs. How do you call that line that moves the things for you? How do you it's not Conveyor. What, what? Conveyor. Conveyor belt. Yes, the conveyor belt. La banda sin fin, conveyor belt. So did you get it? Uh, Caroline is that tailored. For example, that, that blouse that you're wearing is tailored. It fits you perfectly. It's same for you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, a suit should be no. pants. <laughs> did you ever go, did you ever go to a tailor? Did you ever go to a tailor when you were a kid? Yeah. Yeah, for uniforms. I used to it's hate cool that. Uni <laughs> I used to hate that. I didn't like that, you know. It was weird having an old guy measuring your legs and it's like, wait, that's not okay. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, more vocabulary. There was a lot of complex vocabulary on that video. And we're still missing one, but for the next uh, act, I'm thinking about two options, giving you the topic and you making an exposition, you know, coming to the front, talking about the different things that we have seen, for example, the distribution channels, what are the distribution channels, okay? Or watching um, another video of, of eight minutes. I don't know. What do you think? I'm gonna leave it to you. Watch another video. video. A video? A video. Yeah. Video yes. kill the radio stars. Video three, kill three the minutes. radio stars. It's actually eight minutes, but you can jump through the, through the contents. So I will visit your group and tell you your topic. Okay? Or you know what? Yeah, yeah, I will, I will visit your group and tell you, hey, you get you have to talk about, for example, logistics. You have to talk about the difference between the supply chain and logistics, or talk about logistics functions, or logistics value proposition, or logistics goals and strategies versus logistics goals. Substituting information for inventory, it's very long. We have also reducing SC partners to an effective number, hmm. supply chain partners to an effective number. And the last topic is pulling risks. Hmm. This is very interesting. So let's do our best. I'll send you the link again. This time, if you want, stop the video and say, hey guys, guys, did you understand this? Um, what did you understand? Okay, so I'll give you the topics whenever I and split the groups first. Go through it. Okay, we're going to be four on each group. Let me just check where are Renee and. It's okay, so we're good. 
Ada Andres and Fernando. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. So we're four groups. Group number one, I have Alexander, Heidi, Wendy, and Suleiman. That's true. Okay. So you guys need to talk about logistics, the first section. Okay. The first section, logistics. The second group is composed by Erwin, Irene, Josue, and Sandra. You guys need to talk about the difference between supply chain and logistics. I'm sending you the video right now. The difference between the supply chain and the logistics. What's the difference? All of that is in the video as well. Group number three is Caroline, Jury, Vladimir, Rene Alfonso, and Jocelyn Imelda. And your topic will be logistics functions. Logistics functions. Okay. And last group is Ada, Andres, Giovanni, Fernando, and Roberto Luis, so Andres and Fernando, because Ada is on the surgery and Fernando is driving, I mean, Roberto is driving. So Andres and Fernando, your topic is the very last topic, pulling risks. What is that? What is pulling risks? That's the very last topic. Van a notar que el video está seccionado en la bandita de avance. Ahí está seccionado por cada tema. Entonces, si ustedes mueven su cursor, ahí van a poder moverse entre los topics entre los temas, ¿ok? And you got it? Yeah. Ok. Let's do it then. Juan, your iron style is very nice. Ah, Juan, let's go. and reverse flow and storage of goods, services, and related information. And reports of consumption in order to meet customers' requirements. Difference between supply chain and services. Transforming a new series of products and designated customers is supply chain. Whereas...
difference between supply chain and logistics, transforming a raw material into the products and getting it to customers in the supply chain, whereas the movement of materials in the supply chain is logistics. The seven R's of logistics, the most popular concepts of logistics management, is the concept of the seven R's. It is concerned with getting the right product in the right quantity, in the right condition, at the right place, at the right time, to the right customer, and at the right price. Logistics functions involved in the areas of logistics management contribute to an integrated approach to logistics within supply chain management. Transportation. Many modes of transportation play a role in the movement of goods through the supply chains via air, rail, road, water, or pipeline. Selecting the most efficient combination improves the value created for customers. Warehousing. When inventory is not on the move between locations, it may have to spend some time in a warehouse. Warehousing is the activities related to receiving, storing, and shipping materials to oh, the production or distribution oh, locations. Oh, can you, can you, product in the right oh, quantity, oh, in the right condition. Your computer? Yeah. Can you put on mute your computer because I'm listening my video and yours? Yes, you can put the microphone. Here we go. Oh, okay. Sorry. 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 It's okay.
Okay, guys, did you finish? Yes. Okay. Value proposition is another topic. Yes, it is. Okay. Well, let's go to see. Um, I understand that the function of, um, function of logistic is, is integrate and the, the integrate of logistic using transportation like air, rain, water, road, pipeline through the warehouse, through the warehouse. Okay. Right. The warehouse receive a store and shipping materials. Mm -hmm. um, I I I listen about uh, three 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 p three part of logistic and four part party providers, but I I what I I think that the for party provider is more general or more specialist specialist but i don't know what kind of provider is that do you know what exactly is the difference mm -hmm. the, the three part the three part of logistic and four part mm -hmm. party four. provider 
And the other one is uh, the activities of this area is reverse logistic. Mm -hmm. Yes, I listened that for party logistics, third party logistics provide reverse logistics. Mm -hmm. Basically, that is logistic function. And what it means in transportation say, says pipeline. It says air, rail, road, pipeline. 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 What is? By plane. Uh, I don't know, pipeline is tuberia. Oh, pipeline. Oh, pipeline. 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 Tuberia, very good. Okay. Okay. Selecting the most efficient. Remember, you have to make a little presentation about what you have started, right? Okay, teacher. Okay. 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 Okay, a recording stop. <laughs> Andres, Fernando, how are you? Hello, teacher. I was watching the video, but I don't know if the others finish. The others, you mean Fernando, because Ada is in a surgery and now. Um... Oh, yes. Yeah. Only yes. Fernando, so. I done, I done with, with video. Okay. It's about the integrate integration between manufacturers and retailers. Yes, but I, that I understood is uh, they they uh, pull in the in the same warehouse uh, at, at a specific kind of product like. For example, technology. They uh, it this it, it, it's the same group, the same how do you say category. So the the, the retailer distribute the risk for because they have a variability of the of these products. So they by, reduce by cost. They have a variability. Okay. Yes. By they reduce cost. <laughs> come on, come. By variety. By variety. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. They reduce costs uh, in in so and also uh, I I had read 
I have read about about that and uh, for example if you have a distributor distributor that they have an a uh, 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 how would you say tiny stock or a small stock yeah. a tiny store a small store mm -hmm. they, they they balance that with another distributor with a with a stock a huge stock or big stock so that is the the same the, the the same the the way that they have a balance between the retailers they keep balance between retailers yes uh, the intention of this is to have always in stock products to have always products in stock products in stock yes uh, that's uh, why i understood mm -hmm. And this, the video says that this reduce storage costs and stock out risk. Stock out risk is like uh, if you don't have in stock products. The risk of, of that. The, the, the main May maybe the asunto or como sería el principal lo, lo que se, sobre lo que main topic. objective main topic. the main top is uh, the main topic is uh, uh, have a, a variety of products in the same warehouse yes not mm -hmm. only in a specific product you you for example you have the category technology, you have cell phones, you have keyboards, you have headphones that that, that related and you, you re, the, 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 in this way you reduce cost, you reduce the risk, the risk is distributor, distributed, how is distributed? Distributed, uh -huh. distributed uh, within all the products. That is maybe the, the main idea of, of this. That's a nice thought. This is uh, all, all this topic is about the supply chain, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what the whole topic is about. I feel ready to make a little exposition. Yes, I think. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's take it back then. Okay. Okay, I think we're almost back. Just waiting for the others, 15 seconds. Okay, I think we're ready. So we have the first group, Alexander, Heidi, Wendy, and Suleyma. Guys, if you may, please uh, just talk to us about your topic, what you understood about the topic. Thank you. Okay. Our topic was logistic, um, logistic management, actually. But logistic, actually, I understood is uh, the art or of a science 
to design, to distribute, to producing um, merchandising in this case, but logistic management is part of a chain supplier. You know, um, I understood that is the part in charge to to forward. Yeah, to forward and reverse flow and the, the product or the merchandising and to storage and goods, services, and also is in this context is like, um, yeah, actually they, they try to distribute the merchandising from the point of origin to the point of consumption in order to meet consumer requirements. This is for me. <laughs> Got it. Okay, somebody else from the group. That's it. Uh, yeah, um, and the most common concept of the logistic and the company side is the seven R's. Uh, the uh, the meaning is uh, right product, right quantity, right place, right time, right customer and right price. Uh, I think that logistic is, um, is not only um, a, a, a department because it's, it's really big. Logistic is in charge of all the process uh, until to get the raw materials for your product uh, to uh, move your products to the customers in their proper place and then proper quantity. Quantity, perfect. Good job. Okay. Do you have any questions, guys? The other ones that are not in the group, do you have any questions? Okay. Uh, let me choose a victim here. Okay. Irwin, what was your classmates topic? What were your classmates talking about? Hi, teacher. How are you? Doing good. Okay. The difference about the logistics and the supply chain. The difference. That's it. The difference the supply chain is so easy. I will try to explain. Wait, wait, but that's your topic, right? Yes, that's my topic. No, no, no. What were you your classmates talking about? Uh, about the topic. Okay, about logistics. About logistics. They were just yeah, doing an in introduction yeah. of what is logistics, right? From point A to point B, okay. Okay, okay, we have the second group, which is composed by Irwin, Irene, I mean Irene, um, and Sandra. All yours, guys. Okay, I will explain about this one, so I come. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, okay. Uh, it's so easy because uh, because you can so the different because the two plain shine they can do the they can do the manufacturing or fabrication about the one product. 
and the second child, they do to the process about logistics, for example, transportation and the warehouse. But supply chain, the logistic is into the supply chain. Yeah? It's a process in the supply chain, the logistic. But the logistic, the, the goals, the, the logistic is to be just on time all the time. I can explain this one. So I try to explain so easy the information. Only that. That's it. That's it's it. So easy. Yeah. It's so easy. Uh huh. Good, good. And it is. It is. In theory, yeah, it is. So for you, the one of some of the most important seven hours are on the right time the right place just in time that's important okay somebody else from the group wants to add something um the difference between are the supply chain how's the manufacturing process uh while logistic, logistic uh, will uh, deal with the processing of government the storage other and transportation, the supply chain is in charge of uh, supplying the right material for the mm -hmm. realization or the product. Only Peter. That's it. Repeat, that's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Okay. Now this involves the seven R's, right? When you talk about the difference between the supply chain and logistics, there are two different things, as your classmates have said. You know, this is very important. The supply chain is the whole thing, transforming raw materials into products and then getting it to the customers, you know, the whole process. But logistics, logistics is just moving the materials. It could be the raw materials, it could be just the products, but there's always um a customer to deliver the products to. I think it's easy to understand. Okay, third product with logistics functions. Let me see who's the third product, the third group here. Caroline, Judy, Rene, and Jocelyn. Okay, teacher, where we were talking about logistic function and it contributes to an integrity approach. It deals with the role of logistics, is transportation, delivery, storage, packaging, distribution, processing and information, and many systems have been put in a place to deliver product from the production location or factory to the consumer quickly and on time. Mm, any other idea, guys? I, I'm going to share uh, something that I did really quick, but I can't. I don't know. Okay. I'll write. <laughs> that is basically the oh, uh, logistic portion contributed to integrate approach to logistic within applied chain management. And the element, the logistic function, transportation, and the transportation, we are going to have air, rail, weather, road, pipeline, and other element, warehouse, receive, store, shipping material to and from to production or distribution location. And other element that we are going to have here is three, three and four party. Uh, the three, three party perform and manage one or more logistic service, logistic providers. And four party provide our specialists, our logistic specialists, and play a role of general contractor. And the last one is is um, reverse. This is a process to refund or 
return uh, the product from the client to the the provider, the customer to the provider. Okay. Um, yeah. Don't stop. Don't stop. No, don't stop the, the presentation. Uh, you just talked about something very important, a few very important things. Yuri, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the last thing that it really called my attention was reuse. What happens, and I don't know if you have wondered about this, but if think about a trailer with a lot of products, right? They take the product to the final destination, but why does it say reuse? If you know it is on Yuri's presentation, it talks about, can you show it again, Yuri? <laughs> the last, yeah, reverse logistics is a form of return reuse, and I'm sure there was something else there, but what can they return or reuse from transportation? Somebody? Mm. Maybe you're so quiet today. I, I think this when, for example, we, we recently I bought something, when I check, I didn't like, maybe I can return it. Oh, no, but we're, we're talking about logistics. Think about uh, you as the owner of a trailer and you're transporting, you're transporting a lot of boxes piled up on your trailer, thousands of boxes. Okay, what can you do when you're going back to the production center, let's say, or to the distribution center? What can you use, reutilize? In this context, the product is rejected. No, no, you're just a logistic, you're just the driver, you're just the uh, the logistics. You're not a You consumer. are the person in charge. You're the person in charge of transporting the product. Okay. You are the driver. You're the driver. Yeah. Okay. Interesting way. What can you return after you deliver the product? You can return the boxes. You can return but... the wood, the wood that they use to pile up the boxes. Have you seen anywhere um, where they build houses for dogs with these pallets? The pallets? Yes. Okay, so you can reuse the pallets, right? The wood. We just made we just made a chimney in the house. Uh, in my house, we made a chimney using pallets. Turned out to be very beautiful. So yeah, you can reuse things, but if you're a logistics, you know, you're a, a driver, let's say, you can return things. Okay. And that was the idea, the package, guys. Uh, let's go continue. We have still one more. Thank you, guys. That was amazing. Anybody else wants to add anything else on this group? No. Come on, guys. Last group. We have Andres, Fernando. Yes, Andres and Fernando. What was your topic, guys? Okay. Uh, our topic was the Responding. Responding is uh, is how you a retailer have by variety in their warehouse, but for reducing cost and uh, reduce the risk and distribute the risk in all the products, you you uh, you stack. Uh, a uh, common product like in the same category, for example, if you speak, if you choose technology, you can have different product for technology, like uh, keyboards, laptops, cell phones, and mouse, mouses, monitors, mm -hmm. and nice. you, you, uh, you distribute the, the, the risk, the cost in all, mm -hmm. in all the products. And mm -hmm. Also, uh, 
they they have a, a way to to keep the to keep, to keep balance uh, when uh, an, a retailer have a, a, a small stock and another retailer have a big stock that balance the the, the risk pooling in this in this case. There is. Okay, the objective of this is always has uh, have products in retailers mm -hmm. to keep the supply chain. The supply chain. Yes. Okay, thank you guys. I know you were too alone. Okay, so pulling risks. So what does that mean? Pulling risk. Agrupando riesgos, encontremos esto. Hmm. Pulling. Um, and that's true, you know, pull refers to the, to the action of pulling Maybe something it's together. It's like a combine, combine or, combine. or mix, or mix, mix. More, Most of all, putting things together, just the way Andres said, pulling risk. Um, yeah, so in the end, what's the risk? Uh, the risk is uh, stuck out. Oh, stuck out. Get familiarized, yeah. guys, get acquaintance with these terms, okay? Get familiarized. Uh, get stuck out. Heidi, have you ever run out of plastics at the bank? Once we got out of plastics. Wow. Only okay. once. Wow. But once, uh, or, uh, for example, a platinum credit cards, mm -hmm. but we use another another plastic and print the bin of, of platinum cards, so there was no problem. Okay, we, not, not even not even the customer saying, hey, this is not a black card, I want a black card. No, at the beginning they, they felt strange, but Hey, have you ever considered issuing? Have you ever considered issuing uh, metallic cards, engraved metallic cards? That's like a trend right now. Really? Yeah, there's a trend. Go to TikTok. TikTok. There's a guy who is um, personalizing your debit card or your credit card. You send him the card, and he removes. Um, the chip, you know, he works around the cart and he plays it on a on a piece of metal with your picture or whatever you want on the color that you want with lasers. Uh, I, I saw some of that. Mm -hmm. No, we don't have it yet. Maybe we will. But we used to have, do you remember that we used to have mini carts? Do you remember them? Yeah. No, I have always had the same black card for the last for example you had the black card with a limit of five thousand dollars but the mini card only five hundred already you remember those? yeah I've never seen those long time ago oh but oh that's another thing rewards cards you can have a keychain are you talking about the keychain that you can just swipe it are you mm -hmm. that's what no in the States, you can have a keychain, you know, it's a very small card and it works, it works like a card, like scanning card. Oh, okay. Yeah, we used to have those very oh. small cards, <laughs> very nice ones. Okay. Hey, but that, the idea that I'm giving you will be good for VIPs, you know, really worth it. <laughs> That's a good idea. Or whenever someone reaches X amount of points, you know, do something great. You feel special, you know, as a customer when they do something like that. Okay. Uh, we are exchanging gift cards. Oh, really? How come? Uh, we will exchange gift card for your multi premiums. Oh, you're exchanging points right now. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Good. That's good. Well, there's a lot to do, right? A lot of ideas that you can develop in, the, in your field. Okay, guys, so if you notice these topics are 
it's very interesting. I mean, if you want to make them interesting, I know it's difficult little by little, and then you go to intermediate five, where you will talk about personal training and developing uh, personal and so many other topics. Tonight, please don't forget to go to the platform and finish um, the, um, the exercises, especially we have to be up to the midterm. There's just like two of you missing that part. Okay. There were other areas on that video that you should check, you know, if you want to continue the, the topic. And this last topic that your classmates were talking about pulling risks, it could be a little bit confusing. Confusing, I'm sorry, because why would you like to put in a group the risks? You know, that really kind of doesn't make sense. But it says when manufacturers and retailers experience high variability, variability in demand for their products, they can pull together common inventory components associated with a broad family of products to buffer, that's a new word, to buffer the overall burden, that's another one, of having to deploy inventory to each discrete product. So yeah, it's like helping each other out, you know, helping each other to avoid having a full inventory. So keep on studying that topic, it's a lot of fun. Okay, let me just finish. What's the meaning of buffer, teacher? The meaning of? Buffer. A buffer is like push up. The buffer to impulse, to, to push. That's the meaning of buffer. And it's like regulate. Top. How can I define this better? A shock absorber, for example, in a vehicle. Um, and it's, it's what absorbs the impact of something. Regulator. Yeah, I don't know how to define it better. Let me see. A person of thing that prevents incompatible or antagonistic people or things from coming into contact with or harming each other. A cushion. A cushion could be a buffer. Yeah, it softens the fall. But in context, I like what it says. It buffers the overall burden. It buffers the overall burden. Which is amortigua la carga general. The overall burden, carga, burden. Make the, the, the heat softer. And that's on the video. It's like the concept that your classmates were describing. Okay, tonight I'm staying with Sandra. I know you're very tired. I'm tired too. It's been a long week. We're just missing two more weeks. And that's it. End date. Okay, let's go. Let me do the attendance so you can rest. Enjoy your weekend. Hope you have fun. Go somewhere with your family. But just yourselves, you know, still there's a risk outside with COVID. So take care of yourself during the weekend. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Oh, chicos, una cosa que es necesario que mencione. Muy importante. Ya se están enviando los correos a sus encargados de recursos humanos para la inscripción del siguiente módulo. Esperamos iniciar a mediados de enero. Ok. Primero Dios o final de enero. ¿verdad? Eh, ahí se les envió la información. Eh, porfa, estén pendientes ustedes de presionar a los de recursos humanos para que eh, estén al día con la documentación y guarden su cupo para el siguiente módulo, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Ok, okay. okay. so, a las personas on surgery, Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present, teacher. Good Thank night. You. Good night. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present, good night. Good night, Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher. 
Thank you. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good night. Good night. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Good night. Good night, Heidi. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Good night. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez, José Antonio Cubillas Hernández, Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Thank you. William Alexander Ramírez Flores, Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good night. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Good night. Good night. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, Ada. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. One, two, one, two, one, two. How are you? Yeah. Okay. Good. Let's just have a conversation. Okay. To see how you're doing. What are you doing to study more English? Oh, teacher is um it feels uh resolver quiero ver eh, quisiera que me ayudara a resolver el problema sure, sure. uh -huh. okay I have problem problem with three exercise the platform the unit or section one el is exercise 1.7. Okay, we already. No he podido it. hacer tres, tres ejercicios, teacher. <laughs> okay. No he podido. La 1.7. Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. Good. La primera dice: Help you produce as retailers. Let's erase this. Let me just go uh -huh. ahead. Es número 2. Ya, ahí había un error y ya lo arreglaron, ¿no? Vamos a ver. Ah. Okay. No me uh -huh. Sí, en el 1.7 había un error, pero ya lo solucionamos. So, let's see. Ok. So, it says, help you produce as retailers, as wholesalers, much profit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. And is yeah, retailer help you produce as much profit as wholesaler. Whole, whole wholesaler. Mm -hmm. ah, sorry, wholesaler. Wholesalers, yes. Retailers mm -hmm. help you produce as much profit as wholesalers. Okay, let's see what I mean. Period there. The next one will be delivered mm -hmm. as, as the payment is received, the shipping soon. Mm -hmm. yeah. For me, uh, I think the treatment, treatment uh, will be delivered as soon um, as the payment is received. Uh -huh. Repeat, payment. Payment. As payment. soon as the payment is received. Uh -huh. Say received. Received, is received. Payment is received. Very good. Next, as storage capacity is as expensive product transportation. Mm -hmm. 
If for me is product transportation is as experience expensive expensive sorry is expensive as storage capacity 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 yes that's the answer product transportation is as expensive as storage capacity true mm -hmm. number okay. four Oh. Efficient as other, some channel distribution strategies are Strat not repeat. as strategies. 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 Some channel distribution strategies. Mm-hmm. It is some channel. Some channel distribution strategies are, are not as efficient as others. That's good. Is it correct? Yes, it is correct. Some channel distribution strategies are not as are not as are not as are not as efficient as others. Efficient as others. Okay. Efficient as others. Efficient. Efficient. As others. Very good. Efficient. Okay. The last one. Number five. Provide. Uh, provide. Ah, no sé, teacher. I use con esta provide or provide total. Profitable. 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 As Profitable. Mm -hmm. Profitable as selling our digital course is not as through a store distribution there online. Distributing them online. Dis dis distributing them online. I think is correct is selling mm -hmm. our digital course. Throw a, a starter is See. not. Uh -huh. See? Yeah, yeah. Yes. It's not as. <laughs> Sandra. Correct. Yes, it is correct. It's not as profitable as distributing them online. Selling or digital courses through, through, you say through, okay, through a store, a store is not as, is not as profitable as distributing them online. Forma. I'm sorry. Yes, yes. Sí, oh, sorry. Si este problema, perdón, ya está resuelto. Porque sí. no salen malas. Yep. ¿Me escucha? Sí, sí, le escucho, Sandrita. Oh, sí, está, oh, sorry, ya está correcto. Sorry. Ya está correcto. Ajá. Sí, se le está cortando el internet. Ok, ajá. Ya, ya está correcto. Está corregido. De hecho, sin punto, no, no metimos ningún punto, ¿se fijó? Al final de cada oración no metimos ningún punto. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ok, teacher. You did it right. Very good. Ok. Ok. So, tell me, we're missing two minutes. <laughs> What are you doing ah. to, to improve your English? Huh? Are you still working? I'm losing you. Okay, I think I'm losing you. In the connections. 